Yeah, I'm uh, Professor Nadia Dr. Susanna I'm from the Center of the Eye Robotic from UTM and at the same time also the head for the governance regulation and ethics for AI for the nation. Uh, hi, my name is Dr. Nur Hasli Zama Mahasan from Jabatan Digital Negara under the Commentary and Digital. My name is Ayrul Azizi bin Awangla. I'm from the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovations. As an AI focal point for JDN, the Jabatan Digital Negara, um, this kind of training is very crucial and essential for me because I need to give a consultation to the public sector agencies. We are the pioneer of developing the AI guidelines and APs in Asia. That was after we launched the roadmap back in the last two years. So the purpose we attended this training uh, is back to the question, once we launch the roadmap, how we are going to navigate or implement and adopt the roadmap inside this country to ensure that it can be adopted by not just by the, by the government sector, but inclusive of the other critical ethics like the citizens, industry, and academia. Uh, it's very important for me, first of all, because of the head of the AI um, governance, regulation, and also ethics. So it's very important for me uh, to understand, yeah, especially what are all these terms, the meaning of these terms, and how Malaysia can implement this uh, responsible AI you know, to support our AI uh, national roadmap that been introduced by and also introduced and launched by most. Okay, from this training, um, I got to learn about AI ethics from the perspective of IEEE, uh, learn a lot uh, about how to assess the AI ethics uh, compliance in the agencies and it's given me a new insight um, apart from what I've discovered from the development of AI governance and ethics for the national uh, under the MOSTI and also in collaboration with KDN, MDAC and many more agencies. The best about the training is <laughs> in assessing there is no right or wrong. Assessing the AI ethics there is no or wrong, is right or wrong. The most important thing is how you define the ethics value and how you justify it. And then after that is uh, you put into the uh, as, and also uh, the justification. Okay, there are quite a number of things that I learned so far, we can call it best, but I would like to just mention a few. The first of all is um, the meaning of the responsible AI itself, because so far we just come up with the list of seven principles. Uh, but this training uh, allows us to think from other perspective about that principle itself. That means we are not standing from the government itself, but what is the defini definition of the uh, principle? From other uh, sector or other uh, from other sector or from other representative, maybe from the citizen, maybe from the industry, academia. Of course, I would I really recommended this training. Uh, don't look at the cost of the training itself because the cost. I would say that it's only minimal compared to what you gain from the training and what you can deliver from the training. I mean, what the experience that you obtain from the training and that is very useful for you uh, to teach others about their responsibility AI itself. And especially in this context of our country whereby the AI is considered quiet at the early stage, we really hope uh, we can get a few people that really well us about this uh, principle of AI assessment of product. Uh, I recommend this training to others, especially uh, for the one who is involved in AI, not only for AI ethics and governance, but also for the um, AI developers and uh, the policy maker as well. Because this training is um, catered to all levels of uh, understandings and also um, job position. 
I have to recommend because according to our national AI roadmap, we have we need more expert assessor in this area, uh, in this uh, AI responsible and <laughs> AI ethics. So uh, I need to recommend to more uh, uh, beside policy maker, also into the industry, uh, to all the sector in Malaysia.